Simon Herwood spent 14 years abusing his rank to pursue vulnerable junior female staff for sex. The misconduct panel were also critical of Cleveland Police. Chairman Simon Mallett saying warning signs and reports of Herwood's behaviour resulted in no action being taken against him. He added Herwood's conduct was out of control and unchecked. Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really, appre I really appreciate you joining me tonight. And this story comes from Cleveland in the northeast of England. I know it sounds American, but it isn't. It's in England. Superintendent Bev Gill going to face a tribunal for gross misconduct in relation to failing to professionally access information and covering up and for trying to undermine an investigation due to a personal friendship with the suspect. So the other day we covered the story of Daniel Morgan and the report that has been released saying that the Metropolitan Police has got institutional corruption or a form of corruption. And this is a prime example of the same sort of behaviour from police where they deliberately delay, mislead and allegedly turn a blind eye to serious misconduct by other officers. She's facing the panel in relation to the case of a detective who was found to have used his position to, to take advantage of up to 30 women from 2004 to 2018. He coerced them into sex and persuaded them to send him photos and videos of themselves. And some of these were police officers also. The internal investigation was launched by Cleveland Police to determine if top-ranking police officer Superintendent Gill took appropriate measures against Herwood and his inappropriate sexual behaviour. They don't really talk about it too much. You have to go back to the original case to see what Detective Herwood was actually getting up to in his role. He was in the police for 27 years and they say that much of the time he was targeting vulnerable colleagues for sex. So he was focusing a lot of it on the police. They said in the inquiry that the police received an anonymous email that was sent to their counter-corruption unit and the contents rocked the force to the core and triggered a major investigation the same size as a manslaughter inquiry. The disciplinary hearing in Middlesbrough upheld eight allegations of gross misconduct and eight more of misconduct involving 21 women. Over the course of 14 years, Simon Herwood befriended women at work and requested sex. The longest relationship lasted for a few months, if more than a year, and according to Detective Chief Inspector John Whitmore, who led the investigation, all but one of the women was a junior to him, and he was the superior in all of the cases. He targeted junior officers who were having issues in their personal life, and he would exchange phone numbers and got them to contact him for personal difficulties. And then he tried to garner sympathy and ultimately guilt. He then began to flirt with them and then he told a number of the women to wear white underwear to work. He would then request explicit photos of them. Some of them complied, some of them didn't. But there was clear evidence of coercive behaviour and using his position of power to take advantage of women that he worked with. He would later go on to resign from the force and then be put on a list so he couldn't work in any department ever again. But the third officer from the same police force last month was actually charged with making indecent images of children also. William Green, known as Will Green, was suspended upon arrest and has since resigned from his role as head of communications for Cleveland Police. And he has been charged with possessing indecent images of children. He's 42 years old and he was previously the head of the corporate communications network. And the force said that these relate to conduct off duty. He was suspended from his role as soon as they became aware of it, they said. But it does go to show the positions of power that a lot of people get into and how hard it is, for example, to find somebody who's got experience with computers convicted in a case such as this. So regular viewers of the channel will know that I do like to get as many references as possible so you don't think that we're trying to obviously over-exaggerate. But this is another case of a police officer from the same force that is charged with corruption offences and he appeared in court on the 8th of September last year. Robert Coffrey, 33 years old, is charged with two counts of corruption and improper exercise of police powers and privileges 
It's alleged that on March the 25th in 2019 in Hartlepool, he failed to investigate allegations of assault. On March the 24th, 2019, it's alleged the defendant falsified an entry on the police incident log. Coffrey appeared at Teesside Magistrates Court on Friday and saw his case transferred to the Crown. No pleas were entered, but the police have been contacted for comments and no one has actually spoken out yet. In 2019, it was reported that Clevedon Police Force was a failing force and they say it had been troubled for too long. In 2015, found it had failed to properly investigate the actions of Wayne Scott, a former officer who was eventually jailed for a series of rapes and other sexual offences. There were warning signs potentially within the organisation. There was also a half a million pound payout to an Asian police firearms officer who was subjected to years of racist abuse by fellow officers. There was also unauthorised phone tapping on police federation officials and journalists. This just gets better and better. Now the body wants to oversee the police force's performance in imposing zero tolerance on itself. They say that it has been declared a failing force by an independent inspectorate. HMC says that Cleveland has six chief constables in the past six years and it is the first force in England and Wales to be placed in special measures. Inspectors found it was failing their duties to protect people from crime. Last year, the force witnessed a 17.6% rise in crime and the third highest increase per 1,000 people in the population among 43 forces. It also saw 12 murders as well, which was a 400% rise on the average. They said they found the forces inadequate at protecting children, inadequate at behaving ethically, inadequate at treating both, both its workforce and the public fairly, and also inadequate at planning. They also found that officers were downgrading incidents involving young people in order to meet response times and no one was taking responsibility for catching criminals. They said the behaviour of senior officers from the superintendent onwards is having a profoundly negative impact on the force and it is untrustworthy information that is being given out. The Chief Constable Richard Lewis said... Our performance is fundamentally inadequate and this means we're letting people down. They say they're putting people at risk and it is divisive in the ranks of inadequacies of the organisation. So even a year after this initial report on Cleveland Police, there are still corruption charges coming against officers. And we have another case from Cleveland Police as well. On the 17th of June this year, a probationary police officer has been sacked after he was caught drink driving after his partner rang the police on him after an argument. So Jack Birch was a serving Cleveland police officer and he was found to have been twice the drink drive limit when he drove to the garage following an argument with his partner. He has now resigned from the force as of April this year. The 24-year-old was arrested in Middlesbrough while he was driving in his own personal vehicle and he was off duty. The investigation by the force's professional standards team ruled that he should face disciplinary action for gross misconduct. So, we are on, is this five or six officers in the past year from the same force? I'm not sure, I'm losing count. And they have published a list of every officer that has been convicted of misconduct i believe since 2013 and it says that a chief inspector was arrested for being drunk and disorderly and failed to inform the force on this he resigned they've had six chief inspectors in six years for this force a chief officer had matters referred to the force by operation for misuse of public funds so you can see they've got a lot of different misconduct hearings at this police force and and a lot of chief inspectors that was actually held as well so this police force has been described as failing if any of these cases come through with guilty charges they're gonna have to really start looking if they need an inquiry in relation to long-term corruption for that police force so i really appreciate you joining me for this episode please don't forget to join us online as well at scarcitystudios.com i'll be back again very shortly with some more news please don't forget to drop a comment peace